Welcome into the Aldous Burzins Show. I'm Joe Wambo. Join now with Aldous Burzins, head coach of the men's volleyball team. And coach, uh, you get a little bit on a streak this weekend. You get to play at home. You play four really solid teams and get a really strong performance into some deep set matches. Yeah, that was my first time uh, with home matches with these guys. And uh, they really um, performed well. Um, the Friday night we had two, uh, St. Joe's and Wilson. And uh, and St. Joe's is you know, ranked uh, uh, nationally. And, you know, the next day they went on to beat Marymount. And uh, so that, that was a really nice first win at home. And then uh, Wilson later that night. And then the next day we had Marion and uh, Elmira, which, like you said, they went deep. <laughs> Uh, five sets against uh, Elmira, and that, that's the one you really want to win, the last mm -hmm. match of the weekend. Mm -hmm. It can kind of be a, a real damper if you lose that one. And it went five sets. We were behind in the fifth, and but um, pulled it out. Yeah, and they played well together. The team is really meshing for you guys to be able to get these victories and a lot of production from every player that yeah. suits up. Yeah, thanks for noticing that. I... Um, I endeavor to get everybody in there, and I think in particular um, this weekend, uh, Jared Chin, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a setter, came in and uh, spelled uh, uh, KJ, our senior setter, and did a great job. He connected with the middle, with the outside, and he touched up a block, had a dig, and so um, that's nice. Is when they get a chance that they perform. And so did Billy uh, Russo um, came in and hit on the outside, he's a sophomore here. Uh, and uh, Nate uh, Bossy came in, a freshman middle, and uh, let uh, Alex um, take a break too. So those three guys really contributed, as did, I think ev everybody got a chance to uh, help out. That contribution is so key from the finishers, as you call them, especially when you're playing four games in a weekend, mm -hmm. This weekend you got coming up, you're mm -hmm. going to play three games in a day. That yeah. Those guys are going to get yeah. some playing time, I imagine. Yeah, I think that's a, a record. I was asking uh, uh, Brent, uh, my assistant coach, if, you, if he's ever heard of three matches in a day. Imagine a basketball team playing at 11 and then, <laughs> then at 2 and then at 4. Um, you know, that... It's, it is the preseason. Everybody's trying to get games, and I understand why we do it. But it, I'm definitely going to have to. Um, everybody's going to have to contribute and step in and help help us get through that marathon on Saturday. And you you mentioned this preseason. You know, before the conference portion of the season really gets kicking off, getting these guys this experience and you know playing while you're tired is a is a thing that you got to mm -hmm. go through. What are these games doing in getting you prepared for the conference? Well, that's what they're testing us physically and mentally. Um, <laughs> if you can get through three matches in one day and keep your focus, my, my hat's off to them because, like, pro players, it's always one match. Mm -hmm. And then you get a day off, and then you play again. Um, but, uh, you, know, it, it, you know, they're in shape. I mean, MC's done a great job. She's our strength and conditioning coach with them. And, and Connor, our head trainer, uh, has really, you know, been piecing them together, <laughs> keeping them, you uh, know, warm and healthy and injury, uh, you know, severe injury free. Everybody's a little nicked up, but you just kind of tough it up and go through that. Yeah, you're definitely going to get those bumps and bruises when you play the rigorous schedule like this and play teams like you've been playing. Yeah, and like we mentioned we have three matches and they're not like pushovers either there's uh lasalle uh they're undefeated they're six and oh they're ranked nationally too um they've beaten Rutgers and and uh i think uh who else did they beat endicott and, and uh, elmira also who gave us a really tough time they beat them in three i believe and then there's um ramapo the hosts also have a winning record four and one and uh Baruch, right? Mm -hmm. It's a team from New York. So <laughs> it'll be just knock em, sock em weekend. Yeah. Well, it'll be a fun weekend of volleyball, and we wish you the best of luck and safe travels up to Ramapo. Thanks a lot. He's Aldis Burzins. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Aldis Burzins Show.